This week is hashtag create ICG week for members of the Internet Creators Guild. This hashtag was thought up by members of the guild itself, of which I'm a member of, and its purpose is to strengthen the community of the Internet Creators Guild by introducing different members of the community to each other and to also promote the idea of creativity and Internet creators and online content creators to the greater public via YouTube or blogs or social media, however you express your creativity to the world through the Internet. I'm Trey Guillotine and I create a lot of geeky content throughout the week. On Monday I put out a geek out video talking about one specific topic that's been really interesting to me via a movie or a video game or a TV show that I really want to kind of delve into the different layers of the topic. On Tuesday I do a personal vlog which is just kind of doing whatever I want. If I want to talk about what's going on in my life, some thoughts I'm having, if I want to do a challenge or a hashtag. And then on Friday I do a Geekly Trends video where I talk about some of the smaller trends and topics that I didn't pick for my Monday Geek Out topic. These can be events in pop culture and geek community, releases of trailers, of movies, of video games, or new information. And then on Wednesdays and Thursdays, I write reviews of the Marvel television shows. And then less on a schedule, I'm starting to do more movie reviews of the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, as well as I'm just starting out to do some video game reviews. What the Internet Creators Guild is essentially, it's a guild. It's a guild, like a fighter's guild or the rogue's guild. I'm in a guild. That's pretty cool for me. It's a guild that promotes community and support between all variations of internet and online creators. It was started by Hank Green, one of the bigger, one of the bigger YouTubers out there of the Vlog Brothers, him, Hank, and John Green. And it essentially works as a knowledge base for the more successful and more prominent YouTubers and online creators to offer advice and support to other members of the online creator community. Now that you know who I am and the things I create, I want to show you a behind the scenes look of my actual creative process, the steps I go through to creating these videos and, these, and this content. Before I do any kind of setup, the first thing I need to do is to think of what I'm going to be talking about in the video. So for example, if I'm doing a geek out video, I'm thinking of one big topic or one discussion. I write this topic down on a marker board and have it sitting on my desk where I spend a lot of my time so that I can always see the topic and it's always at the forefront of my mind and I'm brainstorming ideas of what I want to say about this topic. Once I have the topic video in mind, that's when I start to do the setup, setting up my camera, setting up the set, as you can see behind me, which you don't always get to see in my videos because I have a really bad time of setting it up in the right shot, but these are all my Pop Funkos, of which people say that I do have a problem, but my only problem is really needing more shelf space, as well as the posters I have set up, my favorite ones uh, like the Guardians of the Galaxy or the Spectrum poster from Con Man, as well as Batman, and a drawing of myself that a friend did for me. But the actual technical setup comes with the camera. It is a Samsung camera. Ignore the the messy closet in the background. And it's what I film all my videos on uh, the rare occasion when I do film some footage on my phone like I'm doing right now. The tripod is not that tall. If you look here you'll actually see that it's standing on a Marvel Collector Core box, one of the bigger boxes that they sent which was the Spider-Man box. Uh, that's also where I keep all my camera equipment. And then I make sure I keep the marker board that I mentioned in front of me with the ideas and the points that I want to make during my video. So as you can see here, I've already talked about what I create and then thinking of a topic and now I'm just talking about filming. To be honest, filming is actually probably the easiest part. It takes about a half hour to an hour, depending on the topic and how much I want to talk about it. It involves a lot of me and it involves a lot of me breaking off half sentences when I decide I don't want to go with that thought, when I don't want to go in that direction with my thought process, uh, saying things multiple times so I can get them right, so I can get them right. Um, as well as making sure I don't do the uh that you just heard. And then taking a moment to collect my thoughts so that I actually continue filming. If you just look at the raw footage of this, it looks it looks pretty bad. Uh, that's where we come into editing. Once the filming is done, then it goes to the more lengthy process of creating a video. The editing software I use is Adobe Premiere Elements. As you can see here, it's a pretty basic but useful editing software. Uh, the only reason I choose it is because that's the editing software I learned how to edit. And that's just the one I went with when I bought my own. As you can see here, it is a video that I just did where I was talking about Mass Effect Andromeda. Going through the video and trying to make it flow a lot better is the more lengthy process because there's a lot of cut because there's a lot of cuts you have to make. As you can see, these are all just little and big cuts that I've had to make throughout the entire video to cut out the us and the the stammers and the the pauses that I have to make when I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say as well as finding pictures of the topic that I'm talking about so that you have something a little more interesting to look at than myself. 
This, this editing process can take somewhere between two to four hours, uh, two hours if it's a good night, four hours if things don't want to cooperate, maybe even longer if that's the case. And I'm definitely infamous for not saving my work, which is something I really need to do a lot more of what I'm editing, but I kind of get focused and I forget to. So that's something I'm working on doing so that if the program does crash, which unfortunately it does happen sometimes, I don't have to start all over from the beginning. And then there's the process of uploading it to the computer, which can take a half hour to an hour, and then uploading that to YouTube, which again can take another half hour to an hour depending on the size of the video. While that is uploading, this is when I take time to work on the thumbnail, which consists of just finding a good picture of myself in the video and then adding a picture that I use to kind of conveys the theme or the idea, the topic of the video, as well as a title. This is actually uh, something new that I've added to my process in using GIMP. Uh, it's something that I'm very new at photo editing. So I'm still learning how to do it. Uh, this is my first, this is the first thumbnail that I've created like this. Right now I feel like a lot of my creating and the things that I create are all in response to other things that have been created. Movies, TV shows, video games. Right now I'm merely saying what I think about some of the other creations that I've seen, but I want to get to a point where I'm creating things myself. I am a published writer and I do work on a lot of short stories. I'm working on some right now that hopefully I'll be able to get finished soon. Something I've always wanted to do as long as I, as long as I can remember is I've always wanted to do a web comic, but I'm a terrible artist. I'm much better with words than I am with drawing pictures. I'd also love to create something that I could even use as merchandise to sell so that online content creating can become kind of a full-time job. Now the reason I do YouTube is because all of these things, talking about all of these things, writing about all of these things, this topic, these geeky, these geeky topics and trends, it's something that I genuinely love talking about and love doing. And I strive to inspire that kind of passion in others for them to talk about the things that they love talking about, the things that they may feel a little insecure talking to others about. I want them to be able to see my, to see my content and be like, yeah, I want to talk about that stuff too and have a good place and a safe place to talk about the things that they love to talk about. But the idea of create and creation and creativity, it's something that I've always, always been very passionate about and, and completely believe in. If you're a fellow online creator, I highly suggest you join the Internet Creators Guild. It's a great place for knowledge and resources, both from more successful creators who can offer guidance and advice, as well as other creators who you're on the same level with, who can offer opinions, help, you can collaborate with them. It's a great meeting place for fellow creators in this community. Whatever you're creating, keep doing it. However, whatever makes you happy, whatever you enjoy creating and sharing with the world, keep doing it. Even if it's even if it's not online creating, if it's even if it's something so far away from online, keep doing it, keep creating, and share that creativity with the world. So check out hashtag createICG on any of the social media, or there will also be a link to the playlist of other hashtag createICG videos that have, been, that have been put on YouTube. Check it all out, and make sure to create something for yourself. Thanks for watching, and have a good night.